Good evening, everyone. Um, speaking is Christopher Raporto, um, an environmental man management student from CBT. Um, today I'll be talking about an environmental impact assessment that I chose during my end of the year project. And this EIA belongs to Petroleum Oil and Gas Corporation of South Africa Limited. It was compiled by Scott Mason, who is a senior environmental consultant at SRK um, Consulting. The purpose of this EIA was to assess the significance of potential impacts and determine the measures to mitigate the negative impacts and enhance the benefits of the proposed project. Um, and the proposed project that they had was to deal with had to deal with extracting oil and gas and drill, drilling wells in areas such as Predasdorp um that's found in South Africa. Um the pro, um and this proposed project was that they would develop a gas and associated condensation field known as the EBK field and surrounding hydrocarbon fields in the offshore petroleum license block 9 that is located in the Bredasdo Basin of the south coast of South Africa like I said before and their main objective was to inform stakeholders about the proposed project and the EIA processes that followed and to assist the detail and assist the detail in envir potential environmental and socio-economic impacts of this project based on what impacts it has on the environment and what they can do to actually mitigate the impacts that their project has on the, on the environment and people at large um the measures that they put up for mitigating potential marine eco ecology impacts were this will be a brief summary of the mitigations i won't really go into detail with all of them as there are a lot um so some of the measures that they put up were to this was during the construction phase which was to restrict disturbance to the seabed of the area designated for installation of wellheads to the subsea infrastructure and to use only low toxicity biodegradable detergents on the vessels and mop up spills as soon as possible i feel like this had something to do with um preventing incidents of injuries or since we all know that some gas or oil spills can cause fire and stuff so it's to prevent those hazardous um incidents so it's basically to protect the safety of their workers and then measures put up during the operation phase were to minimize non-essential light lighting on vessels like i mentioned before um um their oil coming into contact with fire um with light and leading to explosions and so on and to keep a record of all sightings made which can assist the research planning and additional avoidance strategies and measures put up during the decommissioning phase were to ensure compliance with the relevant national and international regulations for discharge in areas and this has to do with the rules set up by the local government on how much um discharge or yeah how much discharge companies can actually give off to the sea and at what what level or at what concentration this has to be because if it's not controlled it will affect the sea sea life and the water that we actually drink in so this um, measure has to do with that and to also comply with petro is a waste management procedure which also deals with the um, disposal of the oil or the gas given off at sea and 
Another mitigation measure put up was for potential socio-economic impact, and the measures, mitigation measures they put up um, during the construction phase were to maximize employment of local workers, which is to get more workers of the area to actually do the work rather than getting people from the outside. And the second one was to procure services and resources from local sources wherever is possible. And then measures put up during the operational stage phase was to notify fishing stakeholders of drilling operations and locations of all well drilling activities at least 30 days before the drilling. And this is to help the the fishermen and to actually to, to notify the fishermen about the activity that will be taking place um around that specific location said that they can know because it will affect um the fishing activities and and yeah um and then the last um mitigation measure was put up in the decommissioning phase was to recover subsea infrastructures as soon as possible um so this eia basically to in short to summarize all that i've said is that this eia environmental impact assessment deals with um petroleum oil and gas of of a corporation that is based in south africa and they are uh oiling company so this um report that they've written up was basically to give people a view or Im a clear image on what the activities are and what impact the activities have on the environment and how and what they will actually do to mitigate these impacts that the activities have on the environment. So by doing so, they drew or they wrote up that the report and for us to actually see so in order for for people to actually know that they were living up to those standards you would have to read the eia and everything that i've actually said and they've written down in that eia to know that they actually meet their own rules or laws that they've set up so this would actually help communities or the people at large to actually know if the if this company or organization is living up to their standards so with all being said i would like to thank everyone uh for this opportunity and wish you can watch or read up more on these eias because there are a lot of them and you can find these at public libraries and yeah hope you enjoy the video thank you very much